Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So for those of you that are new, welcome. My name is Jennifer and I post beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content here three times a week. So if you like that type of content, join the family, hit that big red subscribe button. So for today's video, I wanted to do a really fun battle test. I wanted to put the two Huda Beauty foundations head to head. In corner number one, we have the cult favorite Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation coming in at $40 and 1.12 ounces. And in the other corner, we have her new Faux Filter Skin Finish Foundation coming in at $39 and only 0.44 ounces. So between the two, who do you think is going to be the better one? If you wanna see which foundation takes the cake, then give this video a thumbs up and keep on watching. Okay, so ignore my face if you see a ton of redness. I literally just did a dermal cleaning session on myself and some extractions, so my skin is still a little pink. But for this look today, I'm gonna start by trying the new Huda Beauty Water Jelly Hydrating Primer. It looks like this. And I'm very interested in seeing what this is like because I love the Milk Hydro Grip Primer and they seem like they would be very similar. Oh, okay. So right off the bat, it is way thinner in consistency than the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This feels more This feels more watery, but I don't want the word watery to come off as a negative. It actually feels really good on the skin. It reminds me more of a serum. Um, so first impressions, I really love it. Now the true test obviously is going to be how it grips the foundation and how it really keeps everything looking beautiful throughout the day. So you guys know the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation is my ride or die, it's my go-to. I absolutely love this foundation. I've tried others, but for some reason I just keep coming back to the Huda. I think it gives me the best coverage. It matches my skin tone perfectly, so I don't have to mix two foundations to get my shade. It's just perfection. So when Huda announced that she is coming out with a stick foundation, your girl had to buy it right away. I am so excited. I've mentioned in a couple of my other videos that I absolutely love stick foundations for concealer. I love them as just our normal foundation. So I'm really excited to compare the two. So for today's video, I'm going to do half my face with the no normal faux filter foundation. And then the other half of my face, I'm gonna do the faux filter skin finish, which is the new stick foundation. So right off the bat, the price of the faux filter skin finish, which is the stick foundation, is $39. And you get 0.44 ounces worth of product. The Faux Filter Foundation, the high coverage, is $40, so it's a dollar more, but you get 1.18 ounces of product. So you get quite a bit more in the traditional Faux Filter Foundation for a dollar more. So when you're comparing value, I think the Faux Filter Foundation is better. Now, I will say one of the big differences in the foundation besides consistency, obviously, is fragrance. You know that Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation is kind of known for having this very floral scent. It is on the stronger side, but once you apply it, it does go away. The Faux Filter Skin Finish has zero fragrance in it. So for those of you that were bothered by the Faux Filter Foundation, this may be a great option for you if you've been wanting to try her foundation. Um, for me personally, I kind of like the fragrance. It doesn't bother me. So having no fragrance, it, it really doesn't matter to me. Um, but let's start. So I'm going to apply this side. I'm gonna do a little bit just to kind of see the coverage. 
Honestly, it glides on beautifully. Oh, hold on, I got a hair. Okay. I think I. Just, I know I just said, oh, I'm gonna try a little bit and see, you know, I'm going straight for full coverage. But the product itself glides on your skin beautifully. Right off the bat, I think the coverage is very beautiful. It is lighter than the faux filter high coverage foundation. So this one to me would be more of a medium coverage, but you could probably build it up to be a high or a full coverage foundation. I'm using the shade Toasted Coconut, which is number 240N. This is considered my winter shade. And the foundation shade that I've been using recently is Latte, which is 300N but they didn't have that shade in the stick foundation and I wanted to do an honest comparison without being two different shades. So I went with my winter shade. It actually is probably looking really pretty right now. It honestly looks like two, I'm kind of getting back into that 240 shade anyway. So this works out beautifully. So this is one coat of the Faux Filter Skin Finish. Personally, I like a little bit more coverage, so I'm gonna add more, but I think if you're running out the door to run errands, or you are just going somewhere where you don't want a lot of coverage, I think this is a really, really nice foundation. It blended so effortlessly. It's beautiful on the skin. The color is even across the board. And I like that it's a little bit heavier than a tinted moisturizer. I love tinted moisturizers, but at the same time, they're very tricky to use, or they can be because you put it all around your face. And then I feel like throughout the day, you kind of notice there's a little bit more products over here versus over here. It's hard to get an even coat with a tinted moisturizer. This is great. I really like this product. But like I said, I want a little more coverage, so I'm gonna add just a little bit more. I think if you were gonna use the Faux Filter Skin Finish as a concealer, it would come off so beautifully because it is lighter weight. And I feel like if you were to pair that on, I think if you were going to put that on top of her high coverage um, foundation, I think it would be really, really pretty on the skin. I'll have to try that a different day and let you guys know um, how it worked. So I definitely like the coverage of two coats way better than one. You can really see a difference. This side is very airbrushed and it just looks so beautiful. I have a natural glow. The primer gives you kind of a dewy look, but not overly dewy. So if you're oily, I feel like you could still get away with these two products. Um, but the real test is how they wear. So. I'm going to do the other feet, the other side of my face with the Faux Filter High Coverage Foundation. I am running out, so that's why I'm just kind of applying it to my face like this. Okay, so we are back, the full face is on. Overall, I honestly really like both. I'm trying to see if one, I'm trying to see if there's a significant difference as far as coverage, as far as how my skin looks. And I'm honestly not seeing a huge difference. 
I think the side that has the Faux Filter Skin Finish, which is the new stick foundation, looks a tad bit more glowy than the high coverage foundation side. But as far as how my skin looks, my skin looks very beautiful on both sides. The coverage is even, and I'm really, really happy with both sides. So I think it comes down to what type of foundation you are looking for. If you're looking for something that you can apply at one coat and run out the door, they would for sure be the Full Filter High Coverage Concealer or Foundation. Um, if you're looking for buildable coverage, I think the new skin finish would be great. But let's move on to concealer and powder. So for concealer, I am going to use the Huda Beauty Concealer. And this is the Overachiever Concealer in shade 10N, which is called Coconut Flakes. If you've never tried her concealer, I highly recommend you try it. I think it's really good. I'm a huge Tarte Shape Tape lover, and this is a very good runner up to that. This is a little bit lighter as far as consistency, but as far as coverage, it's there. So if you haven't tried it, definitely give it a try and let me know your thoughts. Okay, so now the concealer is blended, it is on. I'm definitely still that girl that loves a bright white under eye. So if this look isn't for you, then just use a concealer or a setting powder that is more to your liking. So next up, I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty uh, setting powder. This is in the shade Sugar Cookie. It's just the clear white translucent one. I really love this setting powder. If you've followed me for a while, you know that I also really love the Hourglass Setting Powder. And recently, I've also been loving the, um, what is it? The Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. It was sitting right on my vanity. Um, but this one, I feel like locks in my foundation a little bit better. But with that being said, it is a little bit of a heavier powder. So when my skin is drier, it can be a little too heavy for me, but I think if I had to choose one powder for the rest of my life, it would probably be the Hourglass one, but the Huda Beauty one is my go-to one for winter. I know it sounds weird um, that I would use a heavier powder in the winter, but where I live, it gets so hot in the summer that everything just kind of slides off my face. So that's why I usually go for a cheaper powder because I just don't want to waste a nice powder. Plus with everything going on today, we're all wearing masks all day. So why go through your expensive products, right? Okay, so I'm going to finish up the rest of my face. I will let you know what I used when I come back and then I will give you kind of my final thoughts and an update on my skin, how the foundations are comparing, and if I had to choose one, which one would I choose? So I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I am back. So what I used is a light bronzer because I'm not really doing anything exciting. I have to run a couple errands later and um, so I just wanted like a little warmth. Um, I didn't want to go on full on contour, but I used the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. It looks like this. 
And this is one of my favorites, especially in the winter time when I'm more peel. I can just build it up and it's super easy and it's all of three or four bucks. So very affordable. On the eyes, I just went really simple today and I used the Huda Beauty Sand Haze Palette, which is one of her new mini ones. And I really, really love it. Um, so I used that. I used my Essence liquid ink eyeliner which was you know a go-to favorite of mine i used my charlotte tilbury legendary lashes volume 2 which is another favorite and then i used my huda beauty camille number 16 shorty lashes i love these for every day if you are somebody that loves to wear lashes but you struggle with getting them to stick on your inner corner I highly recommend picking up some shorties. These are basically just for the outer corner and they stop in the middle of your lash line. So you don't have to worry about sticking anything in the middle corner. These are my favorite. They're dramatic, they look beautiful, but at the same time, they look very natural. Um, so these are the number 16s if I didn't say that already. So let's get into my final thoughts on her two new products. So the first one was the Huda Beauty uh, Water Jelly Hydrating Primer. I honestly really liked this. I was quite surprised by the consistency being it a lighter weight. Honestly, it's, oh wait, I forgot lipstick. Ay, 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 and highlighter, ay, 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 Jenna. Two hours later. And then to finish off this look, I'm going to apply my Huda Beauty Board Meeting Lipstick. I love this one. It is so good. And I'm just gonna wear it without a lip liner today just because um, I don't really feel like putting on a lip liner, to be honest. Highlight, I'm gonna take my Jaclyn Hill The Flash Palette, it's this one that she came out with, and I'm just gonna dip into the shade Iced, which is this one, and I'm just gonna apply a little bit. I don't really need like a full on blinding glow, but just a little something so I look alive and healthy and, oh, so pretty. Okay, so let's get into my final thoughts on Huda Beauty's two new products. So first one, the Huda Beauty Water Jelly Hydrating Primer. This one really surprised me. I love it. It feels so good on the skin. My skin looks beautiful. I have a nice dewy look, but I'm not overly dewy. And I just think it is so beautiful. And I liked that this one wasn't as thick as the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. While I love that primer, I feel like I go through it so quickly because I'm so dry. So I always have to use two or three pumps of that primer. Whereas this one, I only had to use one. So I feel like this one would last me a lot longer. So this one was a yay for me. Now, comparing both foundations. Which one would I recommend? Which one do I think takes the cake? So, overall thoughts. Let's start with the new Faux Filter Skin Finish. I think this is a beautiful foundation. My skin looks gorgeous. Now, with two coats, it did cover all of my imperfections, so it's very buildable. I think if you did one coat because you were running out the door, you would still have beautifully, beautifully? You would still have beautiful, flawless skin. Now, how does it compare to the Faux Filter Full Coverage Foundation? So if you had to choose between the two, I think I would still go with her original Faux Filter High Coverage Foundation, mainly for two reasons. One, the price. So as you remember in the beginning of the video, I said that this one is $39 and this one is $40 but in this one, you get almost three times as much product. So for a dollar more, I feel like the Faux Filter Foundation is a better value. Also, if you are somebody that loves full coverage, you will be going through this one quicker because you'll have to apply two or three coats to get your desired coverage. 
So that's why between the two, I think this one just takes the cake. But with that being said, this new Faux Filter Skin Finish Foundation is still going to be, I think, my everyday work foundation because I'm wearing a mask all day. So I don't need full coverage. You can't even see half my face. Um, if I'm running errands, this is going to be it. I think the finish on this is beautiful. It blends beautifully. It feels really nice on the skin. It's very lightweight. It almost feels like you're not wearing anything. And I really love that. So yes, I will 100% keep using this. It will be a repurchase for me as well. But like I said, if you are choosing between the two, the original faux filter foundation is it. So you guys, I hope this video was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, please hit that big red subscribe button down below. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will see you guys all very soon. Bye you guys.